Oh, oh. what's this? It's, it's the professor. What do I do? Do I help the professor? As a member of the CAG, do I betray my loyalties to the rules committee and make this deck for clout? Absolutely. Pre-EDH is Commander before the first Commander product, which leaves the most recent legal set to be New Phyrexia. This means there are no cards like Doxa Extortionist, Free Counters, or even the Partners or Eminence. None of that. This is old school. It's a meta when commanders like Sharum, Rafiq, or Uriel reign supreme. The Professor and I decided on Dorne Siege Tower, and I just went for it. If I could get some weird wacky card from old school commander on camera and shuffle up and play, and also impact Sheldon's board in some hilarious way, that's a win. That's a super big win. The plan. Find old jank, beat old guy. For inspiration, I went to EDH Rec to see if I could find any hidden gems from the past that are still played today. But beyond the expected big booty toughness cards, the results were too expected. If we wanted to make something really fun, we're gonna need to consult the wisdom of the ancients from places like MTG Salvation. For those who are new, MTG Salvation used to be the place to find commander decks. That's where players used to post their deck lists, and if anywhere was gonna have pre-EDH tech lost to time, it was gonna be there. And then we found it. The greatest spice of all time. Purging Sun. A 5 mana artifact that shocks creatures of the lowest toughness. This means that the scythe will call any door and let our big booty birches swing away at our enemies. The deck was on its way now. I was happy filling out the deck with high toughness tree folk until... Oh no, does he know? What? I've got no shame. Let's do it. First, we picked a commander together, just like we did with the professor. I offered all the unchosen meta commanders from the past legends like Rafiq, and Sheldon did bring up that Sovereigns of Lost Alara into Eldrazi Conscription was legal with Rafiq and pre DH. <coughs> but what we finally landed on, however, was good old classic Felt. <laughs> Sheldon wanted to play cards that has a lot of nostalgia for him, and we needed to find a succinct or easy to execute win con for our deck. His goal was to take the table out somehow with all the hippo tokens he gives away, but we couldn't assemble a line quite yet. All right, back to this deck. After filling the deck out with our big booty cards with heavy hitters like Dancing Scimitar, Kami of Old Stone, and People of the Woods, I then focused on the removal suite. Cards like Retribution of the Meek is great because most of our creatures won't be destroyed by this board wipe. And for instant speed removal, I pick Putrefy and Mortify for their flexibility, and classics like Sudden Spoiling for ultimate multiplayer shenanigans. However, the CDH designer in me thought, how about we give this deck a little bit more board control? How could we make Doran's ability even more oppressive? That's when I decided to add in a taunt theme with cards like Nemesis Mask, Gift of Deity, to make it even more difficult for opponents to have creatures on board, as we'll go to combat, taunt all of them to ideally make really good trades for us. Oh snaps. While we workshop ways to win the game, we landed on infinite mana lines like Deadeye Navigator and Palancron, or Bloom Tender and Freed from the Real. I wanted to put in Squirrel's Nest and Earthcraft because I think it'd be funny to overrun the table of squirrels. And knowing Prophet's playing Tree Folk, it'd be like the ultimate woodland battle. But then Sheldon realized that Suture Priest from New Phyrexia was a way to win with infinite mana, as Feldegriff can make infinite hippos for our opponents, but Suture Priest's trigger will cause them to lose life infinitely. 
Let's go back to crafting. This deck was mostly complete, but we did find one more piece of old spice that I really wanted to ruin Sheldon's day with. Behold, a jaggy cousin. Graceful Antelope. A 4 mana, 1 for Planeswalk. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you can turn a land into a Plains. It'd be a shame if all your forests and islands became Plains, Sheldon Mary. With the Graceful Antelope now added to the list, this deck was complete and shipped to 1800 West Hilaria Avenue. But there was one piece of feedback. Oops. I didn't know Diamond Valley cost $700, okay? Money's not real to me, I'm an AI. So if you want to see the full deck list, it's in the description box below. And if you want to see how both Sheldon's and Prof's decks played out, you can do that on Shuffle Up and Play right here. Or if you like this deck tech, you can watch this playlist right here for more decks I made. If the Prof trusts me with deck building, I think you can trust me too, right? Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.